In today's video, three exercises to optimally hit both the short and long head of your biceps at the gym. What's up guys, it's Ted, welcome back to the channel. So let's hop into the video. How are you gonna train your biceps? First and foremost, you have to create elbow flexion, right? You have to bend your elbow, but to optimally hit both heads of your bicep, both your short head and your long head, which makes up the peak, right? Right now you probably can see the long head up here and then the short head, I don't really train my biceps much, but it's right there. Now, to optimally train them, you're gonna wanna do something called shoulder extension and shoulder flexion. Now shoulder flexion, all that means is that this, right? This is shoulder flexion, and that's gonna be optimally training your short head, and then shoulder extension, which is the opposite, your, your arm is behind you, that's gonna be optimally training your long head. So that's gonna be the first two exercises that we choose and I show you today. There's gonna be a couple exercises for each, but then for the last exercise, it's more of an overall bicep builder, uh, and it's my favorite one, even though I hate training biceps. So let's hop into the exercises with exercise number one. Cable spider curls, or any kind of spider curls to optimally hit the short head of your bicep, right? So you're in shoulder flexion, right? Your arm is in front of your body. Now, you could do this with chest support like I'm doing in, up here in the video. That's what I'd recommend you doing, so you can use minimal momentum, and it's mostly just bicep working. Feet planted on the ground with your chest supported by the pad, and then now with minimal momentum, just bring your forearm and try to touch your forearm to your bicep. Uh, and then when you go back down, also slow and controlled, right? You wanna be using minimal momentum. The only place or time that you'd wanna swing or use momentum is at the end of your set when you reach close to failure, or almost failure, start swinging a little bit. If you wanted to go to all the way to failure and then past failure as well, you could utilize that. Exercise number two, face away cable curls or incline dumbbell curls. This is an amazing exercise to bias the long head of your bicep and it's done in shoulder extension, right? So the arm is behind the body. Um, so if you don't like the face weight cable curls, you can always do the dumbbell incline bench curls. You'll wanna set up an incline bench or put the cables on the lowest setting or around the lowest setting. Now while in shoulder extension, right, with your arms behind you, bring your forearms to your biceps, right? And then again, you're gonna to wanna to minimize the swinging if you're using the dumbbells. If you're using the cables, you wanna minimize moving your body forward and back uh, using momentum. Exercise number three is gonna be hammer curls. Now, you could use rope hammer curls with the cables or you could use dumbbell hammer curls. Now, this one's not gonna really optimally hit anything, but it's just a fun exercise that's gonna hit your biceps as well as your forearms. Now, you're gonna either, if you're using rope hammer curls, you can go set the cable on the lowest position, hook in the rope, and then slowly bring the cables, the ropes up and down, breathing out on the way up and breathing in on the way down. Now, for all of these exercises, unless you're doing intensifier techniques like cluster sets, or myo reps, what you're gonna to wanna to be doing is two to three sets of six to 12 reps, resting two to three minutes between each set, and frequency I would not do more than one or two times per week. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Go vote on my Instagram story for what you want to see next week. I'm either gonna do a full day of eating uh, very low calorie and high protein to give some of my petite women clients a view of what you could be eating in a day to hit your calorie and protein targets. Uh, in a realistic day of eating with, only, with very minimal um, supplementation and protein. Um, also some male clients of mine have eat on very low calories. Like myself, when I'm in a deficit, I'm eating around 18 to 1900 calories. So I could either do that, or I'm gonna do a video on a morning routine that could help you out that doesn't have any meditation or journaling like that, even though that could be helpful. I don't do any of that myself. Um, it's just about goal setting and to-do list setting. Um, as well as a little bit of exercise as well. So go vote on my Instagram story for which one of those you want to see next week. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe as well.